This week in science, we're taking a nighttime stroll through Vancouver and considering why raccoons are so good at city living. We know they're smart, which must help given how many of them we can see prowling around, but how smart are they really? So you can think of this like if you have a garbage can out, a raccoon learns how to open a garbage can, then you put a brick on top. Now the environment has changed for that raccoon. So it can either just keep trying to lift up the lid or it can learn how to slide that brick off and then open the lid. So that's the, that's the ability we're trying to test in raccoons. Dr. Sarah Benson Amram now works in Vancouver, but until recently she was in Laramie, Wyoming, helping to put that city's raccoon population to the test. Over the course of several years, over 200 masked bandits were trapped and assessed for behavioral traits like aggressiveness and docility. <laughs> Each animal was then set up with a tiny transponder and set loose in the vicinity of a testing box with two LED buttons inside. One button, when pressed, released a bit of dried dog kibble as a food reward. The other prompted a low-pitched sound and shut off the lights for a couple of seconds before the raccoons were able to try again. The raccoons would learn to press one button to get food. So let's say they learned to press the left side to get food. Then once they learn that, um, we would switch it. So we would stop rewarding left and we would start rewarding right. And we would see how many errors they made before they learned the new rule. And that was our measure of behavioral flexibility for the raccoons. Now, a field experiment like this can get messy if, for example, a whole family crawls into the testing box at once. But we did learn a few things. While the younger raccoons were more willing to dive into the test, the older ones were better at actually solving it. And the headline finding is that the more docile raccoons turned out to be the better problem solvers. This adds to a growing body of research suggesting that animals who aren't as aggressive may have more of the cognitive skills needed to thrive in urban environments. This understanding of how raccoons think and learn, if we're just targeting these bolder animals, these more aggressive animals for, let's say, lethal removal, uh, then we're potentially actually selecting for these quieter thinkers who are going to be the ones who may be, you know, breaking into your chicken coop in your backyard or, or learning how to open your trash can. Studies like this are all about helping us understand how to peacefully coexist with urban wildlife. Benson Amram is now part of a new experiment here in Vancouver, looking at not just raccoons, but coyotes, which have recently developed a reputation for attacking people in Stanley Park. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.